Well, breast cancer is the number one cancer uh, in America, besides skin cancers for Amer that are diagnosed in American women. And we realize that mammograms have the ability to uh, reduce mortality by 40% in patients over the age of 40. So there's literally millions of women in, American, uh, in America, you know, mothers, sisters, daughters, um, best friends that are alive today because they've had mammograms. Breast cancer is the second leading cause of death amongst women in the United States. Um, and if we can find it earlier, then we're more likely to be able to treat it. And so the benefit of a mammogram is that you can identify it earlier and our treatments are better um, and patients have better outcomes and go on to live happy lives. There's barriers in anything in medicine. I think uh, a lot of times women might not know what their risks are. There's a lot of factors that go into predisposing patients to breast cancer. There's personal risk factors, there's genetics, and there's really helpful tools out there, uh, one called the Gale model that I'll refer a lot of my patients to that can help identify for an individual what their risks are. So I think a lot of the barriers are sometimes just not an awareness that they are at risk. We all know someone that's had breast cancer um, and has died from breast cancer. Um, and we see stories every day of, of women who have suffered from breast cancer and how their family has suffered. And so when a patient comes to see you, they're bringing all of that information with them so that even if they don't know someone personally, they know of, of people for whom this has happened before. So they hear the word cancer and they automatically think really bad things, potentially even death. Um, and so sort of hearing what the fears are of the patient and then explaining what the benefits are of mammogram usually sets that aside in a, will a more willingness to access it. I think the biggest thing is communication with the patient. What is it that, that is making you most concerned about it? Is it the cost that you potentially think exists? Is it the fear um, of some event that's happened to a family member or a friend? And then I usually tell them also my own personal experience about the challenges of finding the time to get it done, um, how long it actually took me once I finally did it, and that the uh, technicians that are really helpful in this institution are, are really aware of the fear and the nervousness of, of women, and they do a great job of, of trying to support you through that test. I, I think it's really convenient in the wake med system from our patients, insured, not insured, up to um, private insurances. is It's pretty easy to order, just as a direct order that I enter in for the patient. And generally then they get a phone call and they're able to set it up at when it's convenient for them and not necessarily when it's convenient for us. And I think that helps patients a lot because they have to take time off to come to see a doctor like myself or uh, Dr. Klausner, and they might not get another chunk of time off. Um, and, and so this gives them the opportunity to, to place it at a time when it works best for them. Specifically in, in North Carolina, there are federal and state programs that exist uh, in order to make sure that all women, even uninsured or uh, underinsured women, have access to mammograms. Um, there's a program, uh, BCEP, so a breast and cervical cancer control program that ensures that women who are uninsured or underinsured have access to screening and have access to further diagnostic workup if something is failed on screening.